so who have watched the build build first day keynote Did anyone watch the build first day keynote yeah cool um so there were few new few new announcement which were made on the first day uh, and okay uh, let me just at the Okay, I just need to connect to internet and we are here. Okay. Uh, Hey, how? Uh, it's not replicating. Command F1. Ah, okay. Cool. Cool. Um, okay, hi. I'm not going to just take much longer. Just, just going to wrap up in 15 minutes. Um, so one of the big announcements which was made was Visual Studio now generally available for Mac. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, so this is a general Visual Studio for Mac. It's a uh, brief. Uh, I'll just go through that what is there in the uh, Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, has anyone used Visual Studio for Mac before when it was in developer preview? Yeah, a few guys have used it, of course. <laughs> um, so I'll just go through a, a little bit brief uh, history of where did the Visual Studio for Mac came from. Uh, and uh, uh, the big, big of the history has to do with the Xamarin. Um, Xamarin, when it started, uh, as you guys know, uh, there was no Visual Studio for Mac before, uh, but Xamarin was in the in in, a, in the .NET, and .NET was in Visual Studio, and but for iOS application you have to have a Mac. Now, when you do a Mac, there was no Visual Studio for Mac, so uh, Xamarin started their own ID, which they called Xamarin Studio, um, and from that's how uh, the the Xamarin. Uh, studio ID was developed uh, and it kind of grew into a rich environment for cross-platform mobile development. Uh, and then when Microsoft uh, acquired Xamarin in 2016, uh, again, the, uh, what Microsoft did is was uh, reframe the Xamarin uh, Studio for Mac uh, and called it a Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, and launched the Visual Studio for Mac. So when when I say the Visual Studio for Mac, uh, many of you might be thinking it was an exact clone of what is Visual Studio for Windows, and the same features and same sets would be uh, there in Visual Studio for Mac, but that's not the case. Uh, Visual Studio for Mac is coming from the Xamarin, so it's first, uh, is a cross-platform uh, ID, uh, uh, and and it it ha it is not exact replica of what you see a Visual Studio uh, on on uh, Windows, but there are essential features in Visual Studio for Mac, uh, which you can uh, from which you can do a lot of things. I mean, basic uh, programming. Uh, so yeah, this is Visual Studio for Mac, uh, and what's in there? Maybe I'll go through that. Uh, Let's say let's say create new project, um, and there are a few templates which are available right now here, which we can do. And the first one is a multi-platform, which is cross-platform cross application, which is Xamarin application, and the Xamarin Forms application, Xamarin Native applications, Xamarin Android, and Xamarin iOS. Uh, I'll go through a little bit about Xamarin in a while. 
uh, and then iOS application, Android, and then there's a the .NET Core application. So since Microsoft is now uh, focusing on .NET Core more, uh, there's a .NET Core application. Also, you can develop in using Visual Studio for Mac. Um, you can do Mac application, create Mac application, TVOS, uh, console application .NET, uh, and libraries and, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, so let's do one simple, uh, for example, forms application. So I'll just create uh, Xamarin form cross-platform application, uh, or maybe I'll just do a console application. So let's say console application next. Um, maybe let me just give it a name. Uh, desktop uh, hello build and I can use git um, unfortunately until now there is no support for Visual Studio uh, team services in, in uh, uh, VS for Mac uh, but there is a git support um, so I will just go ahead and just create an application and just go through run through uh, what are the features which we can use here. Um, so pretty much same similar kind of ID. You have your solution explorer uh, and uh, and it has in uh, same way also you have IntelliSense. Uh, so let's say console dot. Um, so yeah, read line. Uh, and maybe I want to call it string as string input. And then what, what we'll just do is just hello. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, we'll just echo it. Uh, so it's yeah. So pretty much you can do most of the familiar things which you can which you do in .NET anyways. Uh, so I still use old way, old fashioned way. Uh, and then I can uh, add uh, NuGet packages. So I'll just create uh, add package, maybe uh, json.net. Yeah, uh, json.net add package and it's there so yeah let's say for example if i'm using json what's the class name for json uh, json serializer oh yeah here it is so let's say i want to use json converter <coughs> so I did JSON converter and then it gave me IntelliSense. Uh, I, I mean, the uh, and I can just right click here and say mm, using Newton Soft. Uh, so pretty much what we guys we are familiar with, we can all uh, we can use all of those stuff here as well. Um, and uh, what else? There's also extensions, so uh, let me see extensions. But these extensions are not the same extensions which we have in uh, Visual Studio for uh, for Windows. Uh, so there's no ReSharper, there is no uh, other cool uh, uh, extensions which we are used to in Visual Studio for uh, Windows. Uh, but the, it's a separate set of extensions, and you will find the similar uh, similar extensions here as well. So uh, there is no ReSharper, but there is another similar uh, extension for uh, for Visual Studio for Mac here uh, as well. And uh, so here we go, ID extension, and then these are few of the extensions. Uh, yeah, and you see most of the, uh, it's it, since it was Xamarin focused IDE, uh, a lot of extension might be. Uh, uh, focused on on Xamarin, so Xamarin Test Cloud, and you need Xamarin Inspector. Uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, who all? Uh, by the way, uh, how many of you have have used Xamarin or tried Xamarin? 
Oh, quite few. How many of you are interested in them? Oh, a lot. Uh, let me just do one basic, simple, uh, one very basic uh, application, and we'll see how how easy it is. The Xamarin. Um, so I'll just create a new project, uh, Forms app. Now Xamarin Xamarin has two um, two approach. One is the native, and uh, and uh, so here you see so native iOS. Uh, and Android, uh, and another is Xamarin Forms. Native iOS and uh, in native iOS and Android is that you share the business logic. Uh, so there will be one shared folder where you will run all your business logic, like connecting to net, connecting to your server, uh, getting data, pulling data, serializing it, packaging it, uh, and then when you want to show it in a UI, uh, the UI code would be different for Android, and UI code would be different for iOS. Um, but advantage here is that you can use the exact same, exact native uh, controls which you are used to it uh, if you are an iOS developer or if you are an Android developer. Uh, so for example, for Android there might be combat activity uh, header or, or for uh, iOS it might be 3D gesture uh, which is not there in Android. So you can use those uh, you know, those features in the native uh, application. But Xamarin Forms is going a step ahead, and here you do not just share your business logic, but you also share your uh, UI uh, code. So not just getting the data from the, uh, from the server, manipulating it, creating, serializing, deserializing, packaging it, but also displaying it in a UI, creating a UI, uh, manipulating the UI, all of those code is shared in one code which runs on the iOS, which runs on the Android, and which runs also on the Windows Phone and, and other supported uh, device uh, platforms. So, and still, if you want to do uh, those kind of stuff like 3D gesture, which is only in iOS, uh, you can still do it in Xamarin Forms. You will need to add an extra code in an, on an iOS uh, project but it won't be available in the Forms app. Uh, I'll just go through, run through this. So Xamarin Forms app, let's say, again, hello world, build, okay. And I'm targeting it to Android and iOS. If, if I was doing it from, uh, from Windows machine, uh, there would have been three options, iOS, Android, and Windows. Uh, but since it, I'm doing it from Mac, it is only two options giving me here. But later I can also add new project uh, into, the, into a solution for the Windows one. Uh, and also it, uh, the important thing here to notice is that it also gives you the mobile backend. Uh, so generally it would be an ASP.NET uh, a mobile. Uh, you, uh, most of the apps you will create, it will have to connect to one of the server. Uh, so here, if you just click yes, it will uh, also create the backend application, which you can directly then uh, host it to Azure, uh, and then everything is uh, on the one in the one solution there. Uh, but I'm not going to do it right now. So let's just go ahead and create this. Uh, it will take some time just to create, and then okay. So here you see there are three three projects added. Uh, one is the iOS project, one is the Android project, and the third one is a shared project, which I showed, uh, which I told you. So what are we are going to do? We are not going to touch the iOS project. We are not going to touch the Android project. Everything what we are going to do is in here in the in the common project. And in common project, what you have is uh, MVVM. Oh yeah. And uh, so these are the pages where, which are the shared pages. Um, so for example, let me just open the login page. Uh, and in a while, you will see here. So this is my login page, OK? Um, and most, uh, if you guys have done the w, uh, WPF programming, you guys might be uh, aware of uh, XAML. Uh, so it's the same XAML. Uh, Concept which we are, which is going to, which is used here. Uh, so, like button, uh, for example. Um, 
so when you so you just have to uh, define that you want to you want a button in your page and then uh, it, it uh, will create uh, an iOS button in the iOS project when you compile it for iOS and it will create an Android uh, uh, button if you compile it for Android uh, so you, this is the shared code this is the, uh, this, is the sh and the, this is the one code which will be used in both Android and iOS and also in Windows uh, so let me just go ahead and build this project so just to show you guys that how does it look uh, I have just two minutes and then I will It's building up. Okay. <coughs> ah. <coughs> okay. Hmm? Maybe, yeah, that might be the problem. Let me just do the. Thank you, first. Huh? Help. 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 What, 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 what's the problem here? Uh, the. Things are not working. That's normal. No, yeah. <laughs> Things are not supposed to be working. Okay, I think I, I, I think you got it. Okay. Uh, let me just quit the simulator and just try it again. Um. Okay, hopefully it will start. By the way, uh, yeah, so the simulator is starting up. Question. Yeah. If, if I was to use the native Android mm -hmm. and iOS, am I able to write in native? Am I able to write Android in using Kotlin? Sorry, using? Kotlin, Kotlin. Kotlin? Kotlin. Kotlin, the Kotlin. Kotlin, the programming language from... Uh, no. From oh, no. Uh, from we, Xamarin, you can use C Sharp or J Sharp. Uh, F Sharp, sorry. Not J Sharp. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's essentially Java uh, in, in, in dot .NET, so... So yeah. is completely native, right? It's kind of native, right? Yes, it is a native performance, native uh, UI. Uh, so as sometimes it's faster. <laughs> yeah, sometimes yes. it's even faster. Uh, let me just go through that. So this is a is a uh, Xamarin uh, app, and you see here. Um, so it's a list view. It's pretty much. I mean, it's pretty much native. So. The, the, you have list view, you have tabs, so there are two tabs, about tab and browse tab, uh, buttons, and if you, if you notice, the buttons, uh, they look like iOS, so it is an iOS button. Uh, the tabs is a native iOS tab control, it is not something hybrid kind of stuff. Uh, the list view is a native list view. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, just a, a very brief uh, uh, demo of what is Xamarin, uh, but there has been a lot of new announcement about this, uh, related to Xamarin itself in the build, and uh, that's what the Ben is going to. Yeah. Talk about. I'm going to talk about like two stuff very quickly because we've got about minus five minutes. So uh, <laughs> the way we're going to do is we've got an event covering all the new stuff from the world for Xamarin uh, coming on the 18th of May. Uh, yep, that's going to be like uh, next week. Uh, we've got a new uh, Xamarin TSP that is joining Microsoft Apex that will be there, uh, which is Michael Williams.